The Wise Night Lights are a slightly smarter and cost-effective way to create some smart lighting for your home where you don't have convenient power outlets or light fittings. At only $30 Canadian for three lights that don't require drilling to mount them or use nearby power outlets, the Wise Lights are a great option. Even better, they do have one feature that sets them apart from other similar options on the market. I've been looking for an excuse to buy the Wise Nightlights for some time. I'm already heavily invested in Wise products and I happened to come across them on their online store. While our house came with some really nice integrated Lutron stair lights for the main floors, the basement stairs are not lit at all. There is a Lutron motion sensor which will trigger a light in the basement hallway. Unfortunately, due to the sensor range, it won't trigger until you're on the final step. It means that at night, you're often probing the steps with your foot in the darkness, hoping not to inadvertently tumble into the void. As a result, I was keen to explore a solution that wouldn't break the bank and require hiring an electrician to tear up my house. My research led me to some battery-powered motion sensitive lights available online. There are a myriad of competing brands in all shapes and sizes. However, I remembered that Wise manufactures their own solution, and there was one feature in their product listing that made me choose them above all the other options in the same price range. It was the ability to connect multiple lights in parallel. The rest of the features for the lights are pretty standard for similar devices. They feature similar sensors to measure ambient light to tell the difference between daytime and nighttime to govern whether the lights turn on to help conserve power. They also feature a PIR sensor to turn the lights on and off based on detecting motion. The Wise lights also don't require any screws to mount them and instead use a magnet in the housing and some metal plates and adhesive stickers. As mentioned, the lights could be connected in parallel. When one light detects motion, they will communicate with each other to turn all the lights on when you're using more than one. Benefits might not be immediately apparent. In my own use case where I wanted to reduce the chance of missing a step down into the basement, the Wise lights will illuminate the entire staircase and not just the area around the nearest light as I pass them. Included in the box are three night lights, mounting plates and three pieces of adhesive mounting tape. The units themselves are compact and lightweight. I'm actually a fan of the design versus a lot of other similar options which were a bit unsightly by comparison. The Wise lights are modern looking and quite sleek. The LED lights emanate from the top and the bottom of the housing. On the front is the light sensor and the motion sensor. On the side is a toggle for switching the lights between auto, off and permanently on. Finally, you can find the USB-C charging port just underneath. Installation is very straightforward and thanks to the magnetic mounting solution, you won't need to drill any holes. The recommendation for optimal placement is to pick a spot at least 50 centimeters from the ground, or in this case, the step. One tip I have for finding the optimal spot for the lights is to use double-sided tape or putty to temporarily place the lights. That way you can move them quickly and easily before you break out the included adhesive tape and metal plates to fix the mounting positions permanently. As part of my setup, I had to figure out how to best place the three lights to best illuminate the eight steps I had. I wanted to make sure the lights turned on before descending the staircase. Using the double-sided tape method, I was able to test my configuration before committing to using up the included adhesive tape. Once you're happy with the proposed location, it's just a simple step to place the tape where you want the light, pull off the film to expose the glue, and then firmly press the metal plate on top. The good news is you don't have to get the tape and plate perfectly level as the light will cover them up. Setting them up to work with each other is even more simple. All you have to do is switch the lights on to auto within 30 seconds of each other and they'll automatically synchronize. If you don't want them to sync, simply turn each one on individually to auto and then wait 30 seconds before switching on the next light. The motion sensors have a range of up to 18 feet in optimal conditions. It will trigger the 4.5 lumens LED light which emanates a pleasant warm hue at 2500 kelvins. The fact that lights also illuminate upwards as well as downwards is aesthetically and functionally pleasing too. As mentioned earlier, the most useful unique feature is the ability to use the lights in parallel. I had previously bought some cheap motion sensor LED lights for another area in our house, but I've always been disappointed that each light operates independently. The Wise lights use an RF signal between each device, so if one light detects motion, all the lights turn on. While my lights are quite close together, Wise states they have a range of up to 100 feet should you have more expansive plans for placement. Wise's marketing also states the internal battery will last up to 128 days when used independently, or 85 days when used in parallel. You can turn the lights on permanently should you want to, but this will obviously eat the battery much quicker, with an estimated 11 hours of lifespan before needing to be recharged. 
The lights don't come with any charging cables or a power brick. You'll need to source them separately. However, as most Android devices and other electronics use USB-C cables now, Wise is counting on the fact you already have the necessary gear. Using a 5 volt 2 amp power supply, I managed to charge the lights from empty in a little over an hour, which is more than acceptable for the longevity on a full charge. One interesting note is that the Wise lights don't have any connectivity with the official Wise app. You can't add them even to view their status. It makes sense as the additional hardware would increase the cost, but given the core of Wise's business is concerned with IoT devices, I was expecting some functionality no matter how cursory. It would be nice now that Google Assistant supports third-party motion sensors. If a new or pro version of the Wise Nightlights were to include some slightly more sophisticated hardware for smart home integrations, they could be very useful. Overall, the Wise Nightlights do exactly what I want them to, at a cost that makes them very competitive versus other brands. Specifically for me, the unique feature of being able to set them up in parallel is even worth a few extra dollars versus anything similar on Amazon. Plus, in my opinion, they are probably the most attractive lights in their category with the added design of having the lights emanate up and down. Thanks for watching and as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on the connected home and personal technology.